what do you say <laughs> to people who have dark skin or curly yeah. hair or, or or lips or earrings? I think unfortunately a lot of people are saying, month. get out, go, uh, you know, it's no, our but, culture and, and, and don't tell no, us what to do. You're yeah. not being, I mean, if, if I had grown up here, I can understand. I mean, at first I was really angry with black people. I was like, what are you, why are you pick, tolerating this? Why but are realized, they not making why, a fuss? Why am I, you know, right. so angry and you're yeah. not? But you grow up here, you know, you got attacked and you can handle it. You know what I mean? If you live here and you grow up here and you want to say something as yeah. a black person, yeah. 15, 16 years old, this isn't right. You're not, yeah. what's going to happen to your life, you know, after Oddly, that? Uh, Quincy Gario himself did not really grow up here, I think. No, okay, okay but anybody who Martin, did, yeah. you know, it doesn't yeah. matter. It's just, um, that wasn't the point. I mean, if you yeah. grow up here, you can, you already know how much backlash you're going to get. And it's, yeah, yeah. your life is going to be horrible just because of black Pete. You're going right. to be alone pretty much. To, you know, and now we can say, okay, 2013, 2014, we're kind of together and we all, you know, we have a group now, so you yeah. can join or not. But up until now, you were alone in your little, uh, even though their yeah. protests were, you know, 1968 was the first time. There was really actively protest, protested against our defeat. So right. nobody can really say we had no idea. But yeah, I mean, just yeah. to. But yeah. it's interesting that you say that because part of the reason why I sort of kept my mouth shut, other than the fact that I realized people didn't really didn't want to hear it, right. was and also the fact that I am not black. Right. Mm -hmm. And I really not thought to friend. myself, if anything's going to happen, it's not, the black people in this country are just going to have to do it for themselves. It is, after all, the image that's most offensive to them. Yeah, that's why I kept my mouth shut for the first three years. I mean, I left the country every time because right. I thought... I can't tell these people to do if my friend doesn't want yeah. to, uh, you know, but I, and now I'm just like... I have a friend who said that he thinks, yes, his opinion is that the Dutch have never dealt with their colonial slave past, and now you scratch you know? the surface, you start to pee, and yeah. it just everything... It's, it's ugly. Here's the thing, too, yeah. and, and this wants is... To see who wants to have the ugly mirror held up to their face? No, they just, had it. They just <laughs> had it with World War II. And yeah. this is a theory that came yeah. in as well, that the Dutch uh, collective mentality... We can't handle it. Not in, in the 90s. It was... Uh, and Srebrenica as well. Yes, the, the sort of ugly mirror has been held up. Uh, a couple of times. And, and there's been a sort of collective mentality, I think, since we got here in the 90s. That, uh, you know, in the 80s, into the 90s, it was like, ah, Dutch... And Frank, me, Pris, you know, yeah. we're the good ones. But right. then all of a sudden, no. Not well, it goes to the heart of the tolerance also, that self-image. Exactly. Well, that's the propaganda that's... I've heard since I've been here. We're tolerant, we're tolerant, we're tolerant, and Dutch is difficult. We're tolerant, Dutch is difficult. Yeah. Tolerant. And I thought, wow, why am I hearing these same phrases over and over again? Yeah. Dutch yeah. is not difficult. I learned it like that, and uh, yeah. you're not tolerant, and not that's anymore. So tolerant. I mean, I think, the clear, I mean, there are many aspects of a tolerant society, but clearly, you know, yeah. they have immigration issues and racist issues, just like <laughs> just everyone like else in the, the world. world. Just, yeah. yeah. If you keep repeating yeah. your tolerant, it doesn't make you. Tom. Right, and if but you so they're repeating the black right. Where racist, do you think we go from here, as people who have been uh, uh, sort of inside outside observers? Um, it, Recognize it, that it's blackface and cut it out. You know, it <laughs> seems like that is happening. I yeah. mean, do we? Is the fight over? Is it no. best to to keep hammering at home, or maybe just let change happen? No, it's too. It's been going on too long. I mean, if someone's been pro, there have been signs since 1968. We already know that there are children who are in school and they have a trauma. Because they were called Black Pete in the class, and they're they're not, you know. We say, oh, it's for the children, but right. you know, it's not for those children. Because right. now I've uh, talking to the mothers. There's a group of mothers who don't even let their kids go to school that day, and right. that's kind of chidoch, you know. Nobody, yeah, it's uh, tolerated. Yeah, it's tolerated. <laughs> nobody, they're not written down, and I don't think they've paid the fine, you know, nah, to yeah. the truancy officer. Right, that would be an right. interesting court case. Oh, no, yes. no, but they, but they have been doing that secretly, quietly, right, right. and they're, you know, not organized. But they just don't send their kids to school on three December when the Black Pete's come and right. give out the mm -hmm. presents, and the kids are like, oh, I don't get a present, but they do something alternative. Mm -hmm. And now, since 2013, a whole lot of women are saying it's not sent sent to class for us. It's Nelson Mandela Day. So yeah, they've kind of changed yeah. their own, and then quietly. But I mean, yeah. I'm not like quiet at all. So I'm not going to, yeah. you know, yeah, I shy know, away sure. and say we're just going to not go to school the day. Yeah, okay. and I think I think it is going to go away. I don't want to say on its own. I think it's moving in that direction it with the tone is. down piece with um, things where, and even Albert Hine. Uh, I think a lot of it is also corporate. Yeah. Um, Albert yeah. Hine this year announced this is the big supermarket that they're not going to use um, short to Pete in their advertising. Right. Right. Again, I, I think it's very Dutch. You kind of go slow Slowly. and, have, and, and yeah. I think there's a bigger societal thing. No one yeah. wants anyone telling them what to do, and the yeah. Dutch clearly have a problem with immigration and. 
So, you know, phobia is I'm like, just don't tell us what to do. And I think it yeah. takes time to change. But it yeah. seems like my main question is, um, I mean, do we see a point where uh, uh, Dutch education might come back? I mean, I was working with the Ninsei Dutch Slavery Institute uh, for a while, uh, helping with their blog or whatever. Mm -hmm. And yet, um, you know, their funding got cut 90 percent, 95, like basically 100 percent. They could have kept going. But basically, the Dutch government pulled the plug yeah. on the Dutch Slavery Institute, and there is no sign of teaching about the Dutch role in the transatlantic international slave trade. No. Is there, how do we, is, is that I don't know. If you don't teach that, you cannot teach why black, you cannot explain in, in a soundbite why black face is uh, offensive. So right. if you don't start there... It's just astounding to me that that's not even part of the curriculum, so and I don't even Can I just know. put this into just a little more context in the fact that there are much more recent atrocities that almost never get talked about, sure. such as the police action in Indonesia, yeah. mm -hmm. in which the Netherlands participated uh, in what was the second largest colonial war in the post-war period. And that's right. why that woman Algeria. was protesting with it. Nobody, yeah. it almost never gets talked about. Yeah. Noam Chomsky and talks about it all the time. No, and, Chomsky yeah. is an American. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The 1940s, 50s. Uh, and Srebrenica has been, and, yeah. yeah. It barely gets talked about. Srebrenica barely gets talked about. Right. Uh, oh, God, it does get talked about. Uh, but, yeah, but it uh, right, not there's like, no there's public consciousness about it. Right. It's more like, it was painful. It's, you know, which... Yeah, exactly. I just, yeah. Srebrenica, carpet, under. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and I want to say, to be fair, like, I mean, a lot of art institutions have been, their budgets have been cut completely. But yeah. I am astounded to hear they don't teach about, you know. They don't were, teach I mean, about well, it. Well, they do. It's, it's in there. A little bit, it's just but it's like the golden, era, yeah. the golden era. And uh, it's not really, yeah. uh, I mean, I, I don't see how you can get past life without finding out what blackface was. Right. But I... I I mean, they didn't teach it when I was war when we were growing up, but then, you know, after a generation or two. Oh, yeah, you it was pretty it. negative. It was pretty negative. Yeah, you we got were some yeah, basically taught line. that we were wrong. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, true. You yeah. Know. Well, as Americans, that's true. Final question for everybody here. Um, what's going to happen from here? Is there going to be a collective acknowledgement from Dutch society I that wish. this is a racist <laughs> thing, or is it just going to change and we're not going to talk about it? I think it's going to not change and we're not going to talk about it. There no, there's going to be no collective consciousness. Consciousness. Uh, I think it's going to continue for a long time to be passive aggressive and uh, protest. I mean, I think we're going to have to protest next year as okay. well. I think, yeah, no. I don't think, uh, no. I, I would love for it to everyone to say, okay, come on. Yeah, sorry. You know, come clean. Okay. Let's stop. Uh, stop this. And let's do something where even the black kids and all the kids, not just, uh, yeah. you know, because they say, oh, you protesters, you're ruining it for the children. Like which children? Because my son has to sit in that classroom with a blackface poster. Yeah, yeah. So he's they. It's ruined for him, pretty much, or not for him, but for uh, other kids as well. But. Yeah, yeah. So which okay. children? Well, yeah. so, uh, I, I think it will be very kind of in the Dutch way. It will change gradually. Right. I'm not sure how much talk. And I, but again, I do have many friends here who find it offensive and were upset. They didn't think there was enough change in Schwarz Piet this time. Okay. This time, and I think yeah. it will change. But will there be a recognition? Some people will recognize. What it's, or think it's racist, others probably never. Yeah. But I, I think it will change in time. I think it has to. Jonathan, I think it'll change over time. Uh, I mean, there might be an element of some kind of imposition of European legislation in the in years to come. And then you think to yourself, can you legislate hearts and minds? And the answer to that is, if you look at the Jim Crow South, if you look at uh, segregation in the United States and all the changes that happened in the fifties and in the sixties. Uh, eventually change was imposed mm -hmm. and that change turned into a change in attitudes on the hearts uh, and minds of, 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 a, of a great, great many people. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching this special extra interview uh, of, uh, yeah, uh, United States of Europe. And uh, guys, I don't know, if we do this again next season, do you want to come back? Come in. <laughs> I'm sure there'll come be more and more content next yeah. season, exactly. Excellent. <laughs> come uh, different color faces. I'll be here. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Jonathan. I hope we don't have to do this next time. I hope so. Uh, anyway, thank you, Jonathan Gruber. Thank you, Cole Verhoeven. And thank you, Lauren Comiteau, uh, for joining us. And we'll see you next season. Bye.